G'day folks, uh, here's an attempt at uh, explaining wiring on this uh, Traversa for Andrew. He's asked me how to wire it up for DC analog, uh, which is what I do. So, uh, the first thing we've got to uh, understand here is that there's one track here, one track that leads into this fiddle yard. So if you imagine if we connected a wire to each rail of that uh, road coming into the fiddle yard and connected it up to any one of these tracks, what's going to happen is the current's going to continue on through that track. But what we need to do here is uh, more than just one rail. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, storage roads and we've got this road here which I uh, call a release road. There's never anything stored on this road, it's purely for loco release. So we have to find a way to spread that uh, input from the, uh, the track that leads in over these roads so that we can uh, control them at will. So the way I've approached it on this railway is I've taken uh, two leads, one for each of these rails, uh, and I've connected them to the end of the, the track underneath here, the, 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 rail, the road that leads in. I've put, put a couple of jump leads on there, for lack of a better description. And I've run those leads up here to my control panel. Now I've got, let's call it a positive and a negative lead comes in. That's, that's, the, that's the basic start of it. Now, when you look at this control panel, it looks very complicated. And when I drop it down, it looks extremely complicated. But when you look at these things, uh, each, each one of these things is just a simple circuit. Each one of these switches or uh, LEDs, etc., is just a simple circuit. All that is here is a whole bunch of them. There are multiples of simple circuits, which makes it look as though uh, it's almost impossible to work out. But if you take them one at a time, it's simple. Now, those two wires that are coming in, the jump leads that I've uh, talked about, uh, we can use one of those, let's call it the negative, we can use one of those as a common wire for each of these rails. Um, so we'll call, we'll call that side the negative, and what we would do is run the negative via a lead which I'll show you in a minute uh, up to this rail uh, from underneath and then you need a loop from that rail to the next one a loop from that one to this one and so on and so on across all seven roads that's your common wire, your negative and uh, you can pretty much set that and forget it now when you want to bring your positive in uh, to each of the other rails you have to do that via a switch. So you would have uh, your positive wire coming into the back of this control panel and it may go to um, road, uh, road 1 down here to start with. Now your positive wire uh, is connected with a brake. It'll be connected to one terminal on the switch and then there's another wire connected to the terminal on the switch going off and going to the track. Switch the switch on, the track is active, switch the switch off, the track is dead. It's as simple as that. And then you have to do the same for every other track. So you've got your common you've got your common wire going to these rails, simple loop system, whoops, and uh, and then the positive wire is going via a switch for each track. Now it's up to you to police whether these tracks are active or not, whether the switches are on or off. Um, you could have them all on so every single track would be active. And so you've got to police that fairly carefully. You only want one at a time or you want them all off. Uh, otherwise it's chaos. Now. Uh, if you do make a mistake, this, this uh, traverser is set up so that when it's actually in operation, when it's not like this, this is in its, uh, its maintenance position, but when it's in uh, its active uh, setup, 
it's in behind these barriers here so if anything did become active it's it's just going to go forwards or backwards into some form of uh, backstop so it can't actually come off the board so I guess that's a bit of a, a safety thing there so that's all that's involved with wiring the actual uh, traverser uh, now um, adding LEDs to the control panel is uh, another story altogether you need to uh, run a separate feed in to power your LEDs it's got nothing to do with the track at all but that's up to you and uh, that's what I've done here as well I've run a separate feed in and again you'll see my uh, common wires here the black ones these are for the LEDs and then uh, uh, we've got diodes etc to activate the LEDs but that's on the other side of the switch uh, you've got your uh, uh, track control on or off on that side of the switch and LEDs on this side of the switch but that's an optional thing that's up to you whether you do that or not now my system here has a further complication where I've got um, a loco stabling yard at the end of the traverser and separate to it and the traverser roads pass in front of the stabling road. You can see that it's a recipe for disaster. Um, if I have power into these roads uh, when the traverser is not in place, there's nothing to stop a loco going straight off the end there into uh, oblivion. And uh, it doesn't bear thinking about. So I've had to build in a safety factor into these roads. Now again it has the old jump lead system to come up here and power these roads. You just get a feed in and it, it's, you use switches again as I was explained before. It's exactly the same system. However, uh, I've put an extra link in before the uh, switch for each road. Um, and that consists of these are micro, micro switches here and they're behind the holes in the plate and what happens is when the uh, connecting pin goes through the hole in the plate it activates uh, this micro switch and will send power to the road that the release road is in front of. That sounds a bit common. Yeah, so I'm, I'm talking about this pin now that pulls backwards and forwards. When it goes through the locating holes there you can see in that plate um, when this when this release road is lined up with the appropriate road in the the loco stabling area uh, when the pin goes through the the plate it activates the uh, micro switch and then the micro switch allows the current to flow through to that road so in other words what I'm saying is a loco can't move out of the road that it's on there unless it's got a track in front of it from the traverser there's no way it's going to move because it won't have any power at all so the, the first uh, step in isolating this section is the micro switch if the micro switch is off the, the, trow, the, pa the power to that track is off so just to summarize that your power feed comes in your negative feed just goes straight to the track as before and you do a loop from each track uh, to uh, establish your, your negative feed now the positive feed the one that will be switchable uh, the first switch the positive feed will go to for each of these tracks is a micro switch then from the micro switch it will go to a normal switch uh, a toggle switch so you can switch the track on or off manually uh, and then um, the wire to the track will come from the toggle switch to the track so if the micro switch is not on this track can't be activated I hope this makes sense. As I say, think of it in terms of one track at a time and then uh, you just develop the, the system to cope with as many tracks as you've got. Now the way I am transferring um, power 
to this traversa is via a lead which floats underneath the traversa and I've employed a computer plug uh, which plugs in here now it has nine pins and there's also this earth here which is the negative so I've got um, my negative established on this soldered onto this part here and the negative is soldered onto the um, female part that connects up with this and then I run my negative through here and then there's connections that go to all the rails etc so that's just all the negatives pretty much set that and forget it the rest of these pins are to supply power to each individual track and it all comes down underneath and via this one here okay so if that's not plugged in nothing happens yep and you can see it's, it's a nice little mess under there uh, all my rail joins are actually soldered with a, a wire link as well so that's why it looks a bit like a, a mess under there so they're just uh, ensuring electrical connection in the rails that's all but most of the actions up this end where the switching is taking place yeah so this just uh, comes up and plugs in underneath it's got a generous amount of lead so that it can move backwards and forwards that's all simple now Andrew I'll see if I can do a circuit diagram as well to sort of make a bit more sense out of it and um, maybe I'll just do it for one road and then all you have to do is multiply that just you know by as many roads as you need um, so I'll probably uh, post that up on uh, platform one as a topic and uh, I'll call it something like wiring a traverser for DC analog something like that so I'll, I'll get onto that shortly and uh, see if I can post it up so if you go to uh, www.platform1mrc.com and uh, have a look for that topic in recent topics very soon uh, you should have a circuit diagram showing there hopefully okay so I hope that makes sense and I hope it helps you out okay cheers Gormat